So today's video is in response to the unit VU2339 create engineering drawings using computer aided design system and this is one of the first tasks that you'll be required to do and this is a basic sheet metal task where you'll have to design your soft jaws which we make in aluminium in the workshop for the fabrication unit and there's some basic instructions set up here on the on the page that tells you what you should be doing so if we look at the page it wants you to save the work straight away and then start working through the sheet metal environment to create the model the flat pattern and the 2d drawing so let's get started so i've got fusion 360 opened here the first thing i want you to do is to check your preferences go up to your name right click on it and go preferences and just ensure a couple of rules here are the same as I've got them set up on my screen. So I'm modeling in Z up today. So there it is there, Z up. Then I come over to the drawing file over here in the tab. And I want to make sure that I'm in ISO, millimeters, A3 is the default sheet size. We want to click that override button and change that to third angle. Once you do that, click apply OK. Okay, and we can get started. So you can see I'm in Z up and my default units are in millimeters. All right, to get started, we have to go into the sheet metal work environment. So we go up to the top of this sheet metal here and just click it once, okay? We create a sketch by clicking on that button here. We want the green red plane, the ground plane, and we click that there. We want to draw a rectangle, so we can create a rectangle, all the shortcut keys are make sure you snap it at the origin at the center there click once let go of the mouse and drag out we want to type in here uh, we'll just type in 31.3 um, tab key and 100 tab enter all right and we can finish sketch now and now we're going to apply flange so create and we're going to create a flange we click this face here and then we come over to our items over in the right hand side here is what sort of steel do we want we're just going to pick the aluminium one there click it and click OK now we can change this later so that's not a problem we want to now create a flange going vertically so we click here flange and I'll pick that top edge line right there and drag it up and type in 31.3 click OK so there we have our our basic um, model okay our soft jewels but we need to put some fillets on the corners so we go modify and we want to go to fillet so shortcut key is F I'm going to zoom in I want to pick that edge there make sure you're picking the edges not the long edges so the little tiny corners there zoom out you'll notice I'm using my mouse button I can click pan as well to pan it over if I can't get it Okay, and I want to click that edge there. We want to type in five millimeters and you'll notice that all the edges have a nice radius on them now. Uh, we click OK. Now, when I look at this, it's too thick. If I just click inspect and click that line there, if I zoom in, you'll notice that it's two millimeters and that's way too big, all right? So we're gonna change that. Okay, back to my home view. And it's quite easy, it's not that hard. We're gonna go modify, and we're gonna go sheet metal rules. And see here it says this design is aluminium, so I highlight it and I click the little pencil icon there which allows me to adjust it. Now notice it's in inches and that's okay. We're gonna change it to 0 0.06 of an inch. We're gonna keep the K factor, and the K factor, basically what that is, is what your pan break, uh, what is the radius that your pan break will bend. We're just gonna leave this default at 0.44. We're gonna click save and close, all right? And you can see now that when I inspect that edge there, now I'm at 1.5 millimeter, and that's the aluminum size we'll have in your workshop when you do this model. Okay, to create a flat pattern is really, really easy now. We go create, and we go create a flat pattern. Now, Fusion will ask you which side is, so which face is the stationary face. I'm just gonna click that one, click OK, and watch the magic, and there it has here. Fusion will do the development for you, and you click Finish Flat Pattern. Now, if you wanna come back to that, you just come over here and activate it in the tree, and click that once there, all right? Finish Flat Pattern. Okay, so don't forget, you need to save your design today. So what I've done in my 
data panel here, when I open my data panel, double click on that one there, I come all the way down, I've got a folder that I've created, and you can create your own folder. And that's where I'll save mine today, and I'm gonna call this sheet metal example. I'll call it soft jewels. And click save. Righto, now we go into the 2D drawing environment, and it's really, really simple. At the top of the tree, which is the parent level, we right click on it, and we're gonna go create a drawing. Okay, and we're just gonna keep it a folded model, ISO A3, and click OK. We wait a while for it to go up and do the translation in the cloud. And what we're gonna do, now you can see it's bringing in a model, but I'm gonna change this to isometric or my home view. Okay, and I'm just gonna click that there and click okay. Now you can see that it's actually faded out. So I double click on it again, and I wanna pick this one here and that one there and click close. You can see now that looks much better. Now usually when we put the isometric model up the top right hand side here, we do so purely as a pictorial view to show the reader what it is you're actually doing. And we usually do it at half scale. I think in this application, we'll just leave it one to one. Okay, you can see here when I double click, the scale is one to one and we'll just leave it like that. Right, we need to bring in the flat pack development now. So we click on create base view and up here in the title box when you see this dialog box open you want to change that to flat pattern okay and you can see how it changed it now we can just bring it in at one to one and we'll just simply snap it there and click OK now see how it's left these edges on here okay we don't want to see those so we're going to turn off bend extents and that way it will just leave this fold line here and that looks much better and a lot neater for your drawing. We need to put some dimensions on this now because you'll be going out in the workshop and making this. So up here with the dimension icon or drop down D for dimension. When you click the dimensions, you click the left hand side first, click the right hand side second, let go of the mouse, don't hold the mouse key down and click. So there'll be three clicks to get where you're going. Once again, one, two, three, so three clicks. Okay, so you can see here that I'm a little bit out here. It should be 60 millimeters, but it's pretty close, all right? So what we can do with that one, if we double click on that dimension, we can actually just trick it and say, just give me zero and it will be 60, all right? Okay, we're not doing anything with this uh, drawing apart from reading it and making it manually. Okay, so we're not putting in the CNC process, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we want to put a text block here, and if I click the text note here and just click that line, it will t tell me what to do, up 90 degrees on a radius of 1.5. We now want to put another dimension in the corner here, so we zoom in, click that radius dimension and drag it out back to a fit view, you can see here. We want one more dimension to tell the reader how far in. If you look at this drawing, I'm using all the measurements are coming from the top left hand corner, so that would be my datum. So we click once here, once in the middle, there. Once again, we're gonna trick that dimension, okay, by just double clicking in it and changing that to zero. Okay, so we've got 30 and 60. Okay, with your drawing, we need to put in some names here. So we click the large A button here for text, drag out, and this will be development, make sure it's in capital letters. So turn your cap key on. So development, okay, and we wanna make sure that that's in the, in the right spot, roughly in the center there. We do another one for up here, isometric. Click okay, we can drag that into position around here, roughly about there. In our title block now, we wanna put the date, okay, um, put engineering in the department and approved by, just write in there instructor. We can actually write the material, so we click here. Material, we want 60, should be lowercase that one. 60 by 100, 
by 1.5. aluminium the date of issue now if some of this text is too high you can drop it down to meet your requirements I'll just put in here capital letters ENG and zoom out we need to put one more in here and we're going to say that all measurements are in millimeters unless otherwise stated Okay, UOS is the abbreviation we want. Drag that down here. And there we have it, it's pretty much done. So let's check our workbook to see if that's what they want to done. Um, yep, we got that there, the fold line, development. And we need to click save. So we come up here and click save. And we're just gonna keep that as the default setting. When I check my data panel now, we can ensure that it's gone up there and that is the end of that tutorial. Of course, you could do some other things with this here. You could put a third angle projection symbol down in the left hand corner. Okay, maybe put some more detail in the title block, but that's pretty much what we want today. Uh, so you can go into the workshop and make it.